Hello and welcome to Thrift Miss, where I'm going to 24 different thrift stores, no repeats, and I'm trying to pull the maximum amount of value out of each thrift store. The thrift store for this video is going to be Village Thrift in Newport News, Virginia. It's pretty much right across the street from Christopher Newport University, and I don't really have great luck at this thrift store, so hopefully today will be different. Let's find out. This place always has a ton of books and I actually would have probably filled an entire basket, but they have decided to start marking on their books with Sharpie instead of grease pencils. So I got no books. And here are the little knickknack shelves. And I saw this little caroler set and they wanted $18.96 for this. Um, that's about what I could have gotten for it on eBay. So it stayed here. So I have no cell reception in the store whatsoever, like not even to send and receive text messages. So I saw this uh, little Portugal pottery set, very cute. Uh, they wanted, I don't know, I think it's $6.96 for this. Originally they wanted $20. I maybe should have picked that up, but I left it behind because again, I can't check any comps. This is a set of stackable coffee cups. These were actually made in the early 70s. Um, see, look, this is me showing you they stack. I'm, I'm so helpful. Uh, it's a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, these are Avon mugs. Perfect again for Christmas. There are four of them. I just left them behind because, again, I can't check comps, and I don't know off the top of my head if that would have been worth it or not. So that... Here, it's better safe than sorry. Sensations is a brand that makes clothing that changes uh, in the sunlight. If you did not know that, now you do. Uh, I saw this t-shirt and they wanted $10 for it, which is about what I could hope for on eBay. So that stayed behind. I just kind of wanted to show you uh, what the pricing is like at the store, which is why I don't really shop here. Uh, $3.96 for a t-shirt. I would totally pick that up at the bins, but I am not going to pay $4 for that. Just gonna go through the shirt rack. Also, everything's super packed in here, so the fact that um, they're not really pricing things to move is interesting. I almost got this. It is, it, it's reading kind of, I don't know, red, but it's actually a bright hot pink. This is vintage from the 80s. I am kind of regretting not buying that. They stack the shoes up on top of all of the clothing racks here. Uh, this is a pair of Bionics, surprisingly, for only $8. And it actually is in really good shape, so I picked those up. They have an entire rack that is completely unshoppable, and all this is new with tag stuff. Doesn't matter if it's Walmart new with tags or, you know... <laughs> Uh, loft new with tags. They pretty much mark everything at like 75% of whatever the retail was. Crazy. This is a bulwark fire resistance piece. The other fire resistant piece like literally sold the day that I picked it up, but this one has a weird wear mark there on the front. Um, so I decided to go ahead and uh, leave that behind. Again, another thing where I, I kind of think maybe I should have picked it up, but I did leave it behind. I can quite honestly say that is the most I've ever pulled out of that thrift store and it fits in one bag. So I'm gonna go back and I will show you the haul. Okay, I'm back. So I'm going to show you everything I picked up at the Village Thrift for resale. The first thing is this pair of Vionics. I don't really find Vionics very often and I'm surprised they didn't mark these up as one of their expensive shoes because you all saw the prices, but they mark these at eight. You know, they're selling on eBay between 20 to $40. So I'll put these up and hope for the best. They are six and a half. They're the suede Devon booty. I don't normally like to pick up small sizes, but I was struggling at this store. So I was like, you know what? This is a W. I'm gonna pick these up. I'm gonna also show you two pairs of pants. Uh, I picked up these. These are buckle. This is the Stella boot in a size 26 long. These have a 34 inch inseam, which I was like, whoa. <laughs> I would have definitely have loved these when I was younger um, and actually wanted to wear low rise jeans. Uh, this is a, a low rise boot cut, which is back in style now. 
um, which is why I decided to go ahead and pick these up. These are in great condition. They like have this beautiful, vibrant, dark wash. Like looks like they were barely worn. So I bought these as well. The other pair of pants is a pair of wool black swatch pants. And these are mine because I actually picked up three ties as you guys saw in the footage. And when I got one of them home, I don't know if it's because it was in my trunk or if it was like that and I just didn't see it, but it had a pull along the front in the important part of the tie. So that's getting redonated. And so I had to, since I made a whoopsie, pull something from my own closet. I meant to alter these pants so that they would, they would fit me because they are too big um, and also too short. Uh, but there was enough seam allowance at the bottom to let them out here. But I haven't altered them yet and I made a whoopsie. So I'm trying to pull stuff out of my own closet that I thought would sell. This is a pair of vintage wool blend pants. Again, vintage doesn't necessarily, the brand doesn't necessarily matter. But these are Savannah. They are a vintage size 14 and they're a wool blend pant and this is the great time of year to do list wool plant pants and then black swatch. That's what this green and blue plaid is, is a great keyword. Anytime you find this type of plaid, uh, pick it up. Just, especially if it's wool with no holes in it, I always pick up black swatch um, plaid because it sells and it sells really well. All right, so I'm gonna show you one tie. The other tie is a vintage uh, Jeffrey Bean tie that I spilled something on. So it's silk, so I just do a hand wash and the delicate cycle, it'll be fine because I immediately caught it. So that's what I'm listing the other tie for. It's a beautiful vintage Paisley, 100% silk made in the USA. Definitely pick that up, especially since it was the cheapest tie out of the all of them. This is a Jerry Garcia tie. And uh, the great thing about all the Jerry Garcia ties is that they normally have the artwork name on it somewhere. But uh, I, was, I was completely blind. I should have started off with that. There is zero reception in this, in this thrift store. Like if I didn't know what it was, I just had to go with my gut because of the fact that uh, I couldn't look up anything. I couldn't even send text messages. I was trying to send text messages to my partner to ask him to look stuff up and text me back. All my text messages failed. So there was like, I was just going in blind, which is also why I didn't pick up that much stuff because I couldn't look anything up. But I picked this up. It wasn't a great buy. I wouldn't have picked this up if I could have seen comps. I still will probably make money off of this tie. It just won't be as much as I could have hoped for. So there is this. And then I'm going to show you the tops I picked up. Uh, I picked up a Duluth trading top. This is a women's large gray turtleneck. Would fit me perfectly, but I'm going to sell this. I'm not going to keep it because I don't really wear turtlenecks because I always think I'm gonna wear a turtleneck. The closest I can do is mock neck, but with like a, a wider collar. But the turtlenecks, I just don't like anything tight around my neck. I'll start like breaking out in hives. I don't know why I'm like that, but it is, I love Duluth trading in general as a brand, they make great quality clothes. They are one of the few brands that give uh, women gendered clothes actual pockets. So I picked this up and I also picked up this. I have talked about knit tops multiple times, vintage knit stripey tops multiple times on this channel. This is pink, white, and black. And this is Leslie Faye. This is an XL, but uh, if I put this on, it'll probably fit me. Okay, it is a little loose. Like I'm wearing another t-shirt on underneath of it. It is a little loose. So it is kind of like, it is actually kind of like a large XL because I wear, depending on the shirt, anywhere from a small to a large, it just depends on how it fits on my shoulders. But this is a great boxy fit. So this actually fits pretty decently. It is just a little bit big, but Great vintage piece. Again, don't have a problem selling these little knit tops. Probably won't sell until it gets springtime based on the colors and it's short sleeve, but pick these up whenever I find them. You guys have seen me pick up multiples of these. And then this, I just picked it up because it was funny. <laughs> so this is a vintage from the 90s. 
Let's see, it's Lee made in the USA. It's a men's XL. It is a vintage t-shirt from 1997. And I say it's funny because this is a, I'm guessing it's a fan made shirt, maybe. But it's the Patriots having Green Bay gumbo or Green Bay stew. The reason why I say that's funny is because Green Bay actually made the Patriots into stew in this game with the Patriots only scoring 21 points and Green Bay scoring 35. So they actually lost this game, which is why I thought that this was funny. So I picked this up. I don't know if anybody's going to buy it for me, but it's a vintage tee. It has sports ball on it. I think it's funny because they lost, you know, Tom Brady didn't join the Patriots until like, I think 2001 and which is when they actually started to win a lot. So I don't know if anybody's going to want to buy that t-shirt or not. I just thought it was funny. So I picked it up and again, I was struggling to find things. This is short and sweet. And I, uh, you guys now know why I don't go to that thrift store very often. I do actually donate to that thrift store. So I personally donate, like if I'm redonating stuff, like if I find something wrong that's still in good condition or my own stuff that's not worth reselling, I will either donate to the Village Thrift, which is the place I just shopped at because they uh, support a feral cat colony. They do the TNR and provide food for them. CHKD because of course I am. And then the DAV because my partner is a disabled veteran as well. So those are the three places I donate, but I shop everywhere. So I'll, I don't really shop at the Village Thrift because you guys just saw why. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Until then, bye.